Welcome back to Elden Ring everyone. We are going to be continuing on inside Nokron, right? Nokron, and that's the name of this place? I think so. So yeah, in the last episode we reached this place. We fought the second ancestral spirit, which was an experience. Oh, clever, clever. So you can't just cheese them when they're... Alright. Okay, well, that is good to know. I'm not against it, obviously. I mean... Spear spam, exactly what we want, right? He really does go for that shit, doesn't he? I can do the same thing. Probably should have gone for a critical. Oh well. God. It's like playing Dark Souls 2. Spear users can fuck right off, seriously. Spear great shield users with a shit ton of stamina. Thank fuck that wasn't the scraping spear. I would have gone actually insane. Which... We don't know if there is an actual scraping spear variant in this game. I do remember... I think Patches was using... Well, not Acid Mist, right? Because there is no equipment durability in this game. What the hell? <laughs> well, that's very convenient. Wish I could do that. Do these things bleed? As in, like, the Mimic version. Because the troll, the, like, actual tro troll, obviously, he does. That's, like... The main way to take him out. I am taking a lot of damage here. And I don't know why. Like, these are easy ass enemies. He does bleed. Makes sense. See, this is the thing about. Like, coming here when you're overpowered. Now these guys are mad easy. You know, some areas. Oh, hello there. Hello there, teleporter. We're gonna check you out in just a bit. It's just... Good thing I... Okay. Because I was gonna say... We'll come back here and explore. Finger Slayer Blade. Great Ghost Glove Word. That, that is a mouthful, saying that. Uh, Finger Slayer Blade. Mm, what the hell was that? Oh, it's a... Uh, okay. Hidden treasure of the eternal city of Nokron. Nokron. This blood-drenched fetish is proof of the high treason committed by the eternal city and symbolizes its downfall. Cannot be wielded by those without a fate, but it is said to be able to harm the greater will and its vassal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I completely forgot. <laughs> I completely forgot that we're here for a quest. We're here as part of fucking Rani's questline. Yeah, cool. Um, is this it? I mean, I guess so. Um, I think we can leave via uh, this place. This is the easiest ex exit. This is going to lead to Kaled, which is good because one thing I wanted to try, and I'll do this on screen, is the Great Jar. And I think this leads to nearby to the Great Jar. Uh, cause, well, the great jar is the great jar, and I'm ready to face his champions. So I'm gonna get back there. By the way, if I didn't mention it, everyone, to, like, already, welcome back to Elden Ring. I need to adjust my camera as well. Cool, we'll be back in a sec. Okay, here we go. We're here standing before our lord and savior, the great jar. Uh, the only annoying thing about this is... There is like those two golems in the way, and those fuckers respawn, and it is in aggro range. So every time I die to the Great Jar's champions, I have to refight the goddamn golems, which is annoying. But let's do this. 
How do you have a lot of HP? Does being a champion of the Great Jar come with like such benefits? Fucking hell. He did roll catch me. That's like I'm not gonna like, even deny that. Jesus. There's three of these fuckers too. You wanted to see PvP? I'm gonna give you PvP. What? Ah, oh, it's... <sighs> That's annoying. These guys have an actual shit ton of HP. Oh wait, there is... Oh, it creates a barrier. I didn't notice that. That might actually be good because then I don't have to fight the golems. Ha! One down. Cool. Stay cool. 2000. I talked about this before, right? Like, the soul... It's like distribution or whatever of enemies is very, very messed up. Like, very difficult enemies. Enemies with tons of HP and all that give... Oh, this is gonna be a parrier for sure. I knew it! I He's gonna kill me. Yeah. Insta-death. Fun. Insane damage. Like, if you think about it, I am at 45 vigor. Just think about that. Just think about that. He one-shot me. So that means with a single parry, that guy dealt over... 1,500 HP. That's fucking ridiculous. I don't think he is. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, yeah, this is... Okay, we're going. Yeah, yeah, this is... This is... Like... Instantly parried, insta-killed. Yeah. And you have to refight them. I thought this would be something fun, but it's not. Okay, here we go. Uh, so this might be something. We have a uh, golden seed here, but what I'm trying to do here is slowly work my way towards uh, this like Mount Gelmir area where, as I mentioned, I'm pretty sure that this is sort of the next area we need to go to. I think even people in the comments suggested that it's where I should go. Uh, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. And this might not be the way to go there. The beast eye quivers. Oh, there's a death route nearby. Yeah, yeah, of course. Tibia Mariner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell? Volnir. Homeboy just summoned Volnir. Alright then. I'm cool with that. Okay, I didn't think I'd get roped into a Tibia Mariner fight, but here we are. I'll be able to like manage this. These guys are pretty easy. So I'm not too worried here. Just has some HP. I know this is like some Elden Ring exploration shit, but you know, sometimes we'll have these types of episodes as well, where I just do stuff. Idiot, he kills his own minions. What a dumbass. What a fight, right? <laughs> I mean, this is quite something. This guy's lame. I mean, his design is cool. I like the idea of like being him being like sort of ghostly and yeah, cool. I'm trying not to get killed here. Uh, him being like ghostly and floating everywhere. I think that's a neat idea. It's just. Well, he's a little bit lame, isn't he? Death root. Tibia summons. Nice. I'm happier about the 14k. That, yeah. That's another level. And there's probably a dungeon here somewhere, too. Because the dungeon sort of... 
the dude that points towards the dungeons pointed somewhere over here. Uh, if there is a dungeon here, I'll try finding it instead of just riding off the cliff. There it is. Yeah, Elden Ring Explorations will cover this. I don't know which one, because the, the issue currently with Elden Ring Explorations is not an issue, but currently I have like a lot of assorted stuff, like assorted clips. None of them are sort of significant enough, or I don't have enough of them to make like a full episode. Uh, so I'll just see how I'll fit these in. Don't worry about it, I'll figure it out. Okay, so this is the area I have unlocked on Mount Galmir. Um, like this part. And the strange thing about this place... Well, let me show you. Strange thing about this place is, unless I'm blind, which... You know me, that's very much possible. I am blind. Never mind. Never mind. I didn't say anything. I was gonna say that the issue is that this leads to a dead end. But it doesn't lead to a dead end. It does the opposite. It leads to an actual end. And there's a battle going on between those like fucked up like statue thing is. Which I don't fight because they have a lot of HP. Yeah. This is some snake eater shit right here. There we go. That's more like it. That is more like it. It would be nice to discover or find the map to this place. Looks like this is a pretty large area too. Alright, what do we got? First Mount Galmir campsite. Nice. We're gonna go for... Uh, I don't know actually. HP. I think I'm safe going for HP. Well, it's clear, it's very clear that you don't need a lot of stamina in this game. Uh, kind of like pretty much most of the Souls games after Dark Souls 1 and 2. You can fairly safely ignore your stamina. Bloodborne being like the big... Sorry, wolf. Sorry, wolfo. Like the big example. But Dark Souls 3 generally as well. Alright, so what we're gonna do is... Uh, head on forward. So, apparently this is another major... Uh, shard... Area. Or like a major area. Which makes sense because... Oh god, these guys are not doing too hot right here. This place was like a site of a huge battle or something. Looks like it. Yeah, how about we peacefully... I'm just gonna take the treasure from the corpse of your friend. And we're gonna move on, right? Is that cool? I guess that's not that cool. Um... Oh shit. Before we go any further. So what, what, what I was saying is... Um, we... Like, judging from Morgoth's cutscene... Oh shit. <laughs> I'm in a little bit of trouble here. Like, based on Morgoth's cutscene, there should be... Like, three more. Because there is the twins who, one of those, I remember from the Radan cutscene, Melania, I, I've heard about her, she's apparently like the hardest boss in this game. Uh, there's her, and then I think the other one they talked about was, I don't know, something Praetor. Cool. And I'm assuming one of these guys is here. If I had to guess, it's that Praetor guy. Which is okay, I mean, 
like we have enough of the shard bearers to continue on with the game like obviously but uh we do need the sort of souls come on makes sense something like this would be here but cool oh yeah there's further on i'm sorry i if you see a cut there yeah i had to take a call pulley bow it's just a bow i'm trying to i'm currently in the process of selling some stuff on the hungarian version of craigslist so I might be getting like calls here and there where i have to cut you know it's just old basically like dog stuff uh, when Peretz, my labrador was a puppy you know we had things like crates and all this shit that we don't use anymore so I might as well get some money from it and you know send it to somewhere where it will be useful rainbow stones lead the way to riches what? Oh no, are they gonna do the... Please tell me there's not gonna be invisible platforms here. Whenever I see rainbow stones... Man oh no. Oh no, this is a thing. I thought it was that... You know, that guy I hate. But it's this other enemy I hate. It just healed itself. You are much easier on horseback. Yeah, eat shit. You are much easier in general than you used to be. This is the first boss though. As a first boss, I gotta say, like... Probably outside of uh, Genichiro. Mm. I don't trust this bong smoke. I'm just gonna hit up the ladder. Outside of Genichiro, I think this thing, the Grafted Scion, I think it's called, is probably the most difficult um, of sort of these tutorial bosses. I mean, Asylum Demon is beatable. He has a very easy move set. Dark Souls 2, of course, does not have a tutorial boss like this. Dark Souls 3, yeah, Udex Gundir is very easy. That's an actual tutorial boss. But sort of like this boss you, you're meant to die to. Uh, this one is up there in terms of the difficulty. Oh, what the... Jesus. That caught me off guard. Am I a bitch? Does he have little armor on his wings? Did I see that right? Man, it would be super nice to get a map for this place. I'm betting you that's the arrow one. No, that's the flailing one. <laughs> God, that, that, <laughs> that move said though. Alright, just treasure. I said just treasure. Not even very good treasure. Um, cool. Yeah, this is a um, horse area, so we still got that going for us. I think I'm just gonna continue up. The game is pretty heavily sort of pushing us towards here. So yeah, uh, it's an interesting thing. It's an interesting approach to take. I'm sure people have sort of practiced the grafted scion by now to the point where they can defeat it. But I think you just die anyways because that's where the cliff thing crumbles. So it is not possible to... Obviously, it's not possible to avoid dying. Um, and I don't even remember like if you'd get anything particularly useful out of it aside from the runes. I guess it's like a nice... Hey there!
Was he fucking talking on the phone or something? Is he like... Is he FaceTiming someone? Hello there. <laughs> please buy some. Please clap. I think we're gonna make a deal. Uh, stone sword key, give me that. I'll take it. Arrows, give me that. I'll take it. Probably a good idea to stock up on arrows now that they're like considerably so cheap. Now that my sort of ranged option is no longer available. This is the point of the game where soul amounts such as this become basically negligent. Uh, explosive. Ooh. Okay, that's expensive. Confessorhood. Nice. Oh, <laughs> guilty. Ooh, this is kind of cool looking. I've been wanting some stuff to mix and match. You could at least thank me for saving you from starving to death. It's all good. I don't judge. So yeah, we're gonna like continue to snake eater our way up uh, and we'll see where this eventually leads. Aside from the top of the mountain. Well, that's a bit obvious. I don't even know what the hell point I was making before we found the merchant. Probably nothing significant. As I tend to, like... You don't really come here to listen to me talk about... Oh, fuck. I hate this madness shit. It's like bleed, but worse. Worse. Uh, not worst. Worse. Because the issue is that... And, you know, for a while I didn't know the difference. But the difference is that it stuns you. And enemies are actually able to get more attacks in. It's almost like you getting knocked off of your horse. You know how there's that like little... I don't know how many second window. Where you're, you're kind of like vulnerable. Yeah. Same with madness. There's still some enemy here. It's not letting me open my map. What we got? The assault on Volcano Manor, the squalid, the sick, the blasphemous, a wretched, unending war with no glory. Okay. So they attacked this place. Kind of, kind of the vibe I got, seeing the the below as well. They attacked this place, and it did not exactly go to plan. I mean, I think that much is fairly obvious. I'm not exactly making a massive revelation with that. This is actually a really, really cool area. I like the vibe of it. Yeah, let's hit up the thing. And let's see if we can finally find the sort of marker where the map would be. There it is. Which is above us, yep. Torrent. And there's actually a, like a ladder. What the shit? Fug. Oh, it's another one of these. I didn't even beat the first one yet. This one takes less damage though. I mean, more damage, I should say. Okay. Like, when I fought the first one, it like straight up one shotted me. Yeah. That's the thing I'm talking about, getting knocked off of your horse. Ah, shit. That is very difficult to dodge, actually. So the gimmick with this thing is that it has 
I think its head is vulnerable. Shit, that range. What the hell are you doing? Luckily, Torrin didn't die. I'm definitely gonna die, though. I think its ass might be vulnerable as well. Try rear. Butthole. Okay. Get out. Shit, it has a lot of HP, I just noticed. I've been wailing at it, and it ain't taking that much damage. Okay. Come on, Torrent. I was gonna say you got this, but he don't got this. That was definitely a head hit. Predictions on being able to bleed this thing, I don't know. But, I think you can crit it. <laughs> Talk about demoralizing, right? What the hell are you... Fighting General Radon over here. Some gravity shit. This is in a very bad place. Yeah, this is bad. Hmm, <laughs> I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure about this. This is pretty spicy. The fact that I struggled this long and I dealt jack shit damage to him does not bode well. It's weird that the ladder is there too. Like, why? Hmm. Because I'm just thinking, like... Do you gotta kill this thing to... Move on? We'll see. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, people talked about this and it's mad annoying. Um, Torrent does not refill HP when you fight him uh, not not when you fight him what am i talking about when you die and somebody mentioned why on twitter apparently like he counts as like a non-hostile npc or something there's something weird with torrent and it makes it so that he doesn't refill his hp like you do when there's a death and that's why shit like that happens. Where that map is. What the hell did, what the hell did I just say? Where that map is, right? English. It's difficult. It's a difficult language. Okay, I'm gonna get this map and then we'll figure out what the hell we're meant to do here. Uh, let me just get down here because... It's around lunchtime and I'm hungry as hell, so... I'm off to eat after this. Shit. It's the last thing I needed to see. I do like this. Like I said, I do like this enemy design. I'm not a big fan of their moveset. They're almost like the dogs with how they attack. Like very quick stun locks and all that. So, big reveal. Map Mount Gelmir. Nice. Okay. This is pretty cool. That's the big that's definitely the big castle, the big main area. <laughs> I do like this. I do like this a lot. 
All right. It's looking like we have our objective. We have an earth tree, nomadic merchant. We've seen the boss right here. Uh, there's another castle here. Looks like some shit here. Perfect. All right, then. Uh, actually, I don't know how long this episode is going to be because I have quite a lot to cut out. This is a dead ass ghost. Lord Rikard, if this putrid field of death is what your best blah blah, I can't read. And I can no longer abide. No one can. It is Rikard. So Rikard is the big bad of this area. Makes sense. Not against it. We'll see what he's like. Yeah, the one I know anything about is Millennia. Because she's like... You can't avoid like seeing or hearing her. Like She's apparently like the most difficult thing in the Soul series. Which, I don't know. Could be. But, um... I don't know. Oh shit, ulcerated tree spirit. I always get myself into trouble like this. I'm just trying to end the episode and I'm unable to. Because there's a fucking new boss here. Interesting moveset. This this thing is like that annoying ass snake thing from Dark Souls 3. You know the one, the ones that like sprouted out of... Those are not bosses, but you know what I'm talking about. The ones that like sprouted out of shit. Boss of Man, that's what it was called. Okay, I'm gonna... I saw that I wasn't gonna get anything off there. Oh shit. Did it buff? Yeah, it did. You can see how much more manageable this thing is compared to that Falling Star Beast. That thing is pretty annoying. Beatable, I think. I should probably first beat the, the, f the other one. Because if this is the full grown one, that's like the baby one or something. Can you die? Thank you. You're dead. Easy. Easy money. See, we did have a boss fight for the end of this episode. See? Who ever said that I don't give you the content you need and deserve? Alright then. I'm really gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring. And we'll continue on in the next episode. Peace out and goodbye.